Hi friends, my name is Cassidy. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a speed build of a modern farmhouse for a family. I think this build turned out really great, so stay tuned if you want to see it. This is a speed build with no custom content. Go ahead and like this video because it really helps out my channel and subscribe so you'll know when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. Doing things a little bit differently today. I've never done a voiceover like this on a Sims video. So hopefully this turns out good. I think it will. But let me know in the comments down below if you like speed builds with voiceovers like this or not. This build is based off of a real house, like an actual floor plan, which I will link in the description if you want to see it. And I think it turned out really great. I'm really excited about this build. I love a good farmhouse. I've built quite a few farmhouses if you guys want to check those out too. Um, I built like a lot of tiny houses that are farmhouse themed, larger houses that are farmhouse themed. I love a good farmhouse you couldn't tell also i did this house in a green theme which i think turned out really well oh and i did this island i've never done an island like this before but i think it turned out really great i'm not gonna lie i've only recently figured out how to do all the different countertop configurations um very recently so now that I know how to do it, I'm doing it a lot. So there's my island. I think it turned out pretty great. It's kind of big for the kitchen, but I think it turned out pretty great. I've never built an island like that before. I accidentally put like a random countertop over here in this corner. Oh, I deleted it. I was like, oh, why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, sometimes I do that sometimes. I'll like put something randomly and I'll find it later and I'm like, wait a minute. Or I'll accidentally move something. Like in some of my builds, some things just get moved around and I'm like, did I, did I do that? Oops, I had to go back and fix it. It's kind of annoying. The living room area was kind of a big space and I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I ended up doing a like kid's playroom on the other half of the living room. Normally I would like turn it into like an office space, but this house already has an office in it. But I guess like if you needed another bedroom, you could turn the office into a bedroom and then turn that extra space into an office if you wanted to. And I guess it doesn't really matter. This is just what I decided to do. Also, I have another question for you guys to answer in the comments, if you will. Um, are these speed builds, are they too fast? Are they too slow? Are they like a good speed? I'm like never sure how, how much to speed them up. So let me know in the comments if you think they're too fast or too slow or like just right, like Goldilocks. A lot of the items that I used in this house were from cats and dogs and from the parenthood pack. I really like the items in both of those packs. And I have the country kitchen kit and I I don't think I used anything out of that pack even though this is a, a farmhouse. Anyways. I added the like globe bar from the vintage stuff pack. What is it? Glamour? Whatever it's called. I added the globe bar. I never use it. But I thought it would be fun in this build. Also that gave me an idea just now. I could have turned the other half of the living room into like a bar area. I do like it better as a kid's play area for this particular build the way that I did it like as a family home but like maybe when their kids grow up it could be turned into a bar area. That would be fun too. I did the main bedroom kind of like beigey and brown and it's a little bit boring boring but it is for parents. I think I just combined boring and parents together. So they're, you know, they're old. They're not fun. <laughs> um, I did this room as a teen's room and I could not decide what color bed to use. Like I literally, I used like three different swatches. I ended up changing it like two different times. See, I changed it again and then I changed it in a, a little bit. 
and then this is a kids room and i did a lot of the cats and dogs stuff which i've never really used before the cats and dogs stuff for like kids and this desk just would not sit against the wall so i changed it but i really like the cats and dogs stuff for the kids like and i've never really used it that often i don't know if i've ever used the bed honestly but it was pretty cute i added a desk in the teens room and in the kids room so they'll have somewhere to do their homework I always like to add a desk in to kids and teens rooms, specifically for them to have a place to do their homework. If the build is, you know, if there's room for a desk. In the laundry room, I had a little bit of an issue with the countertops because I didn't think to put a corner piece in the corner. And I was like, why isn't this working? Because I'm kind of dumb, but I figured it out. In the parents' bathroom, I have been thinking of doing a shower like this for a while. I use the like single shower thing where it's just the shower and the drain that came with Tiny Living and like put it in its own room to make it look like a walk-in shower because there aren't any walk-in showers in The Sims 4. And I was like, I'm going to make my own walk-in shower. So I did. Changed the bed in the teens room again to white and then I painted it like a pastel yellow. And then I thought about doing white wood floorings, but I decided to do like a lighter brown wood flooring and I think that it looked really nice. It always takes me a minute to pick out like which windows I think look best with the build. This time I went with these ones from Cats and Dogs. And I do end up going and changing the color. I had them in like a light brown and I end up going and repainting them all to white. <laughs> from the sims 3 automatic roofs this roof turned out fine but it was a little bit of a struggle at first i tried to add a slanted roof over the back porch area and I just couldn't get it lined up properly I just couldn't get it to look right so I just decided to not have a covering over the back porch I think it looks fine but I did try it just didn't work I did however get it to work on the front porch I think it's because I wasn't trying to line it up with another roof at the same level. It was just going into the second story wall. But it did delete my windows and I had to go back and add them back in, which was kind of annoying, but that happens. this random piece of floor that went into the curb of the stairs and I couldn't delete it I could not delete it when I tried to delete it it would delete the whole floor and I I tried I tried to delete it I even built like a little square around it to try and delete it and then when I deleted the square like the wall around it it just messed I put some playground equipment in the backyard for the kid and I was turning the swing and as soon as I sat it down see it turned the other way like I had it turned and I put it down and it turned back the other way it's probably hard to tell with the video sped up but it did I promise you it did it turned itself back around I like these blue hydrangea plants but I couldn't get them to look quite right on the side of the house so I didn't put them there I put some window boxes which I think look quite cute and a magnolia tree I love magnolia trees so I tend to put them on my builds in the sims just living vicariously through my sims because I love magnolia trees 
Now I'm adding in like plants and other like clutter and decorations. I don't feel like I decorated this house as much as I have other houses in the past, but I think like it looked pretty good even without being like having like a million plants in it. Even though you can never have too many plants. Here are some pictures of the house. And I just want to say, I never put curtains in my house. I tried when I first started doing speed builds to put curtains in my houses, but I just, I don't like curtains in The Sims. I don't like them. So here's the kids' room, and the one before it was the parents' room, and then here's the teens' room. I think they all turned out pretty nice. My pictures are not angled wonderfully. Here's the office space. living room i would live in this house i say that about a lot of my builds but that's why i build them because i like them you know like i wouldn't build them if i thought they were ugly <laughs> and the kids play area like every kid would love a play area honestly and then here's the dining area of course i have to always have a centerpiece on my tables and the kitchen I love the green. I think the green theming turned out really great in this house. And I love the bar. Like I said, I've never done a bar like that, but I think it turned out pretty great. And then just here's the entryway with the stairs. All right, that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and subscribe so you know when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. And leave me a comment down below anything that you would like to see me do on this channel. And I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.